To make my 50th appearance for Ealing Trail Finders, um, yeah, delighted. Probably a little bit of a slow start with the uh, COVID seasons, um, but certainly picked up. Um, yeah, a good run, start of the season off, uh, stage injury free, it was important, and yeah, nice to hit a milestone. Yeah, so 50th appearance this weekend, so yeah, um, massively proud. Um, it's taken me a while to get there. Uh, and obviously the two two separate stints, but yeah, just happy to get there. Uh, funnily enough, my first appearance was against Cornish Pirates, and we lost, <laughs> so it was it wasn't the best. Probably nice to go down there on my 50th, and hopefully get a better result, and maybe one or two beers on the bus. Um, my first appearance for the club was on, I think it was actually Christmas Eve. Um, it would have been 2016, I think. Uh, I came off the bench against, I think it was actually against Pirates. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a tough game, but yeah, I got got 20 minutes off the bench. I think it was. How do you think I've changed from the first appearance to the last appearance? Um, slightly older. <laughs> Not sure if I, I, I got wiser. Um, at the grand age of 29, hopefully got a couple more games left in me. Uh, I've got considerably older. Um, no, yeah, obviously. Things have changed here, I think. I think the, the club has grown so much in the past uh, five, six years now. Um, so obviously, this being my second stint, it's a completely different club to what it was back in 2016, 17. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just real positive, good environment. Being club captain is obviously a, um, a nice honour, um, responsibility, and it's an exciting year for the club. Um, and to make my 50th along the way is, um, it's special, it's not often you get uh, hit milestones in, in rugby and um, down against Cornish Pirates who have been probably one of our um, most serious competitors over the time I've been here. It'll be, be nice to go down there and hopefully get a result and um, pick up my 50th cap. I think making 50 at any club's like a, a big thing, but obviously being given the captaincy role in, on game day is uh, obviously really important. I'm, I'm, I'm massively enjoying that. Away at Pirates is always a tough game. Um, anyone who's played at the Mene, it, you know it's going to be a, regardless of time of year in which you play. But if no, if not, so special now in terms of around uh, around Christmas that kind of time. The pitches can be quite heavy. Um, but no, it's, it, there's never an easy game down there and some of my probably most enjoyable games in the Champ have actually been down there. Uh, Travelling to the Mene, well, once, one, it's very far. Uh, so that's, I think it's definitely the most furthest uh, place we'll go this year. Um, and the time of year is a little bit colder. You never really know what you're going to get um, on a pitch where it's the co uh, on the coastline. Um, so they're all big challenges in itself and then you include the team which is Cornish Pirates who are a good side. We know they're physical, they pride themselves on that, on that area of the, of the game. Um, but a place we know if we perform well and get the result, it's, um, it's worthwhile. We then come together, 2.15s with 22 minutes from there, session done, okay? Happy? Let's go, falls over, let's go. Oh. Uh, yes, yeah, so we probably had a slightly different uh, week actually this week in terms of our prep because we had a, an off weekend last weekend. So we were in, uh, we had a few days off after the Jersey game, and then we came back in back end of last week where we were in Thursday, Friday, uh, just did, got some some good hard graft in there, and then uh, we've just like well past two days we're just getting a lot more clarity in terms of uh, our set plays etc and what we're, we're looking to use down there this weekend we know play on grass is a little bit different to the artificial pitch where it's a little bit slower um, our body height's different i suppose the footwear a lot of the boys use is different on this pitch to grass and we're very well aware that that'll be an important aspect of the game <laughs> I just switch off now. Okay, obviously enjoy enjoy uh, each other's company, enjoy the bus journey, and uh, we we'll get into the team. Great, on you, love. Two on me. Two on three. Two three. Oh, hey. Um, we travelled down on Friday morning. Um, we're staying somewhere near, nearby down there, and then uh, so we'll, we'll use that as uh, our travel day on the Friday, and then so it leaves us in good preparation for the Saturday game.
not the but the um, some boy came in one day. <laughs> Just go away together, spend a bit of time together, spend the time in each other's company. Um, it's a long way back. Let's make sure that journey back's nice and sweet by going to get the win because trust me, it feels a lot better. And those that came down here last year know how long that journey is when you don't get the victory. And as Barney sort of alluded to yesterday, um, we owe them one. So let's make sure we don't disappoint with that today. Oh, We love them, eh? That'll be the difference in this game. Big moments. Yeah? Yes, Two, three, yeah! But wait for the opportunity. There's opportunities there. Yeah. Back to the jump next door. Okay, boys, easy to turn this round, but that work rate has to go up. Come on, lads. Come on.